Hello and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit structure. In this lesson, I just want to teach you on how you can, you know, create some 3D details for those who would like, you know, maybe you want to show how something you have a complex detail and maybe in 2D drawings, they will not be able to understand. You want to make it very, very clear. You can place those 3D drawings or details which are you know we have with the annotations and everything on your sheets and this is what i want to show you now in addition i also model the base and the short columns i don't want just to bring a model here and start working on it but i want to show you how you can do it in case someone wants to follow even the modeling part of a simple base and a column so if you like what i'm doing on this channel please make sure that you like my video subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and make sure that you check my website skillmaxcard.com where there are very detailed courses for revit robot and advanced steel so let's get started in this lesson and what i need to do is to simply start a new project by clicking on new then i don't have the template that i want to use so i'll click on browse and i'll just click the arrow there to go backwards a bit go to english and i want to use this template right here and click on open and click on ok all right this is where we are now what i want to do is to just go to south here it's a very small model so i'll just i just want to have you know the height of my column there to be maybe 1500 just click like that click outside so i just have two levels level one and level two then i'll go to level one right there and i just want to go to structure and the grid and i just want to have two grids the horizontal grid and the vertical grid just for me to be able to place you know the i can place it at the grid but it's better this way so now i'll change this one to b all right okay what am i doing i'll just go to b i want to make sure that the caps is on and b and then click out it's actually a not b i don't know why i'm saying b so just like that all right so now i can you know model a simple column here a concrete column by going to structure the column right there just click there and i want to use a concrete column this one here and make sure that you counter check here make sure that your height is selected and you want the column to go up to level two and it's a vertical column and simply have it right there oh and do because i moved to extend and make sure that the lines or grids are highlighting then click so that it's locked there now go to structure and make sure that you go to foundation and pick isolated foundation then from there again i'll just pick the default one you can rename it you can resize it and rename it i'll just place it right there and click on modify let me see what i have in 3d by clicking on 3d this is what we get now change this this to shaded perfect and i don't want to see these you know grids and levels because i just want to demonstrate how you can quickly place reinforcement and detail in 3d all right the 3d detail so I'll just go to visibility graphics vg annotation go to my levels remove the level apply and also the grids i think i don't want to see the grids select on it apply and okay and this is what we get if you don't want to have the hatches on top there on the surface go to the material then that little box there and under the foreground there make sure that you know you remove you put no pattern okay and apply and okay for this material it does disappeared select this one also go to the material click once click there and remove the surface pattern from there it's very very simple drag it select apply apply okay all right now i need to place the reinforcement here but i can use the native revit tools but i'm just going to use power pack detailing this one here now if you want to join me in a detailed course in power pack detailing which helps you to accelerate drawing production including riba modeling check my website the course is there well detailed and to the point so i'm going to use power pack detail to place the riba here you can use native revit tools if you want so i'll just select on maybe i'll start with the base and i'll go to power pack detailing now i'll simply go to constructive disposition and pick constructive disposition just close this one as you can see less than a second this is what we get now 
I'll simply go down here and make sure that I'm at fine level of details. How cool is this? The rebar is there. Less than a second. Now, what I need to do is to simply just select this one, hold control and select that one. And now change to the actual rebar that I want to use. Maybe I want H12. Click outside. Now, I don't need these bars. If I want, I can extend actually these same bars, but maybe I'll simply remove this one. Oh, what am I doing? I'll select this one and make sure that I remove them. I'll just delete these bars because I want to have the starter bars, you know, from the column to go all the way up to the bottom. So I'll remove this. Now I'll select on the column again. I'll just go to pack detailing, go to constructive dispositions, perfect, and close this one. Click outside where we are. Now I'll select this, I think H8, I wanted to use H8. So I hold control and for this, I'm going to use H8. Now, if you want, you can change the properties from here. I want maximum spacing. Maybe what is the actual spacing there? Uh, maybe I want, maybe 150. Move inside here and you have those. Now I'll select this and hold control and i just want now to pick the actual according to my design i want this one maybe h6 perfect now i want these this like this one also need to go at the bottom there so i'll select this bar hold control select this one and select this one and that one like that now i'll use constraints by clicking there and click on edit constraints pick the bottom there okay and now i need to pick the top of this bar right how is the plane there you can see that those are the two planes so i just need to remove that that number to zero and click outside then click on finish right perfect now i just need to add the hooks on this one so i'll select this one and that one hook at i think this one should be the end i'll put 90 degrees there uh, actually not 9 why why 90 degrees in that other direction okay so i'll rotate this one maybe to 90 hook rotation let me say 90 okay now it's in that direction it's as simple as that hold control select this one then hook at end let me put 90 okay hook rotation 45 so that it can go oh no not 45 i want to do uh, why is it coming that direction hook so select this one hold control this one i want it to be 45 hook rotation if i say 45 uh, not that one okay uh, hold control z hold control z so that i select this one once again which angle can i use here hook at start at end all right i can even rotate it if i want but let me pick this one first of all okay this is the one then i'll pick maybe hook rotation if i say negative 45 okay and now it's fine because i'm just tying it here it doesn't really have to go there behind but this one is okay so select hook at at end put a 90 then maybe negative 45 also for this one okay it's fine i can leave it there i can rotate this bar if i want but let me not waste time so much on this one now i also add the hooks on this one i think it will be both at start and also at the end like that we have those hooks okay so we are done with this one now of course you'd maybe really the bars may not go all the way up to the top but i know maybe this column will continue what i want to achieve is this right so if i select on one and i go to override graphics in view maybe i say by elements i can now you know just try to change the color if i want maybe the pattern and the color the pattern to be solid maybe the color i can change to that one let me go apply okay then select this one right click i can override graphics in view by you know there then go to solid and i want to pick a different color so that i'm able to these are just visual styles you don't have to do this it's not necessary but for those who would like to produce such details with colors and everything this is what you do override 
graphics in view by element make sure that it's solid there then the color which one can i pick maybe i pick blue for this one apply okay and now these ones i'll select this one and you hold control i select this one now in a template i can simply use a filter instead of selecting one by one of course if on a big model you don't want to select one by one but this one is quite small so i can afford to do it this way all right yeah and what color can i pick for this one maybe yellow no maybe let me pick that one there okay apply okay and here we are now let's proceed and see how we can start adding the annotation here now you notice that if i go to annotate and click on tag by category it will not allow me to do that because the view has to be locked before we start adding the details within the 3d view so you need to come down here and click lock there's a symbol there a little house just click on it and save orientation and lock now you need to give it a name i'll call it maybe base all right so click on ok and now it's locked this is the one that we have here now proceed with the annotation if you want centered up to you you just need to go to annotate tag by category you can pick on model make sure that leader is selected and pick on attached end if i pick on free end you see that you know this is free end but i like using attached end so that i can know exactly what i'm picking maybe i want this one so i can just click on it click on modify let me change the scale maybe to 1 to 50 okay it looks good or maybe 1 to 25 all right this one is even much better i can drag it and have it maybe somewhere here this is what i want then i can select on it and add an arrow there just click on there and just click there i want arrow field 30 degree this is the one i want apply okay and here we are i can select on it right click create similar and i can even point to these others you see that i can point to this one then you drag it i can align it or actually yeah i can align it i can drag it and make sure that it's aligned there now if i want to point to a number of them i can do that but i can point one by one just select on it add and i can add this one add that one and add that one and click on modify and that is how you achieve what we are seeing here now i'll select on this one right click and create similar i can now you know maybe i want to point to maybe this one i'll select on it and i can just click that point and i want to have maybe that elbow like that so i've pointed to this one i can also point to maybe this one click there just drag it on top there just click there you can see that the detail can look very very neat just by using these tools now what else do i need to point at maybe this one here i can point at this one and maybe just one line maybe this one like that if you have different spacings you can do that all right now you notice that i can select on this one i can change the tag to show even the spacing maybe quantity type spacing number i can pick that one and drag it so it will show everything the information is there these tags can be can easily be you know edited whatever you want all right so this one is pointing there and maybe i also want to tag maybe this base here i can go to annotate tag there and i want to point on this base maybe i want to use attached end it's as simple as that i can select on this one just drag it outside like that now if i can change just the tag this one to make sure that it's this expands by clicking on edit and i can select on this one and simply expand it load within my project click on no that's what we get override and select on it and i can drag it just like that if i want make sure that you select on it edit and add arrow field 30 degrees apply and okay here we are and everything looks good dimensions can also be added here by going to annotate align dimensions let me pick uh, maybe which direction can i dimension maybe i want to dimension the faces this one and that one you can see that the dimension is there okay maybe it's the 
why is it dimensioning at the bottom okay let me escape once okay let me just add that dimension but if i if i just click on this one and the, i want to set work plane pick a plane just want to try it i'm not sure though but i know it should work maybe annotate align dimension pick this face and that face excellent 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 so now i can dimension this one you know you need to make sure that the plane is right there on top so you can undimension those now i can select this one just remove it and now i can have my plane sitting there go to structure uh, plane set work plane make sure that you pick the plane okay and make sure that the plane is sitting right here then i can go to annotate align dimension and pick this face and that face there then i can have my annotation right there then pick this face and that face there i can have my dimension right there maybe for the height i need to change the work plane go to structure set the work plane work plane there make sure that you pick it or just use the pk as a shortcut i don't have to go there just pk you are there pick this face hmm, which one do i want to pick i want to annotate and dimension the let me pick this one because for this one i need to pick um let me just try first of all i see if i'm able to achieve what i want okay so pk pk let me use this plane then pick this one if i pick the oh what am i picking i have to pick the top part dab all right i need to dimension this one don't disappoint me don't disappoint me pk okay select this one okay now dimension all right for some reason i can't pick this one but let me not waste time you've seen the whole idea you are able to you know you are able to to add all these dimensions and you have picked this one you are able to do that okay i'm actually supposed to pick this face sorry for that i'm too fast so i can add it from there and we have added this one you can also add all sorts of dimensions so this is what we get we can place this one on our sheet maybe let me go to the sheet right click new sheet there and uh, maybe a1 is too big for this detail i'll pick a3 this one here open it then click on open then i can pick it from there we have that one as a base drag it let's bring it here you can have it there exactly the way i want it perfect select on it drag it here and these are some of the details that you can add for example as i said if you have very complicated you know uh, interconnections some details you can choose also to add the 3d details if that is what you do in your office it's entirely up to you you can do a mix of you know 2d drawings and 3d drawings detailed and you know that can look excellent so this is how you do it if you like what i'm doing on this channel please don't just watch my video subscribe to my channel comment there tell me what you want to watch next and most importantly check my website skillmaxcard.com